we're still very happy to be here. Very happy to announce that uh, Luke Richardson has agreed to be the head coach of the uh, Binghamton Senators. Um, I don't know, we've had good coaches here before, but I don't know if I've been this excited about a guy uh, in the past um, with his experience in that, as a National Hockey League player and an assistant coach in Ottawa and the relationship he's had with the Ottawa Senators for the last three or four years. Um, I think he's a, a great choice. Um, without any further ado, Luke, we'd come up and meet your people. Well, thank you very much. I'm very excited to be here, uh, obviously. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the Ottawa Senators to give me a, my start in, in coaching and give me the opportunity coming out of playing. It doesn't happen very often with uh, the limited opportunities in the league. There's only 30 teams in that league and uh, there's only so many coaching positions. So I was very lucky to get on and work with some great coaches and learn a lot of things at an early age of my coaching career. Uh, but playing 20 years professionally, um, you learn a lot of things from all the coaches that I did play for in the past. Whether I agreed with them or not, I still learned a lot every year. So hopefully a lot of that molds me into the coach that I want to be. And uh, most importantly about taking the job, I was very excited that both uh, Steve and Matt are staying on. It's going to be an invaluable experience for me to have their knowledge of uh, the league and in the past few years uh, to help me along. Even though I poke my head in once in a while to check on things, and I, I, a lot of the young players I've been around a little bit, and know them a little bit, uh, you can never know uh, enough about the players that are playing for you to help them be the best that they can be. So I'm very excited to be uh, down here in Binghamton. And uh, my wife came down with, with me today. Stephanie, we're looking for a spot where we want to get settled right away. And uh, if the league could start tomorrow, that would be uh, great for me. But uh, we have a, have a little patience. I think uh, the Ottawa Center has done a great job of um, uh, stockpiling a lot of young talent. And I'm looking forward to trying to help develop that with the coaching staff. And that's what the league is about, but also being competitive and win at the same time. Um, part of me being an assistant coach in Ottawa, I was upstairs away from the bench, and that's hard to do. I, I'm ready to be back down on the bench and be right in the fire and the passion and be excited again and strive to win and be competitive. A little fiery at times, you have to be, but also in control of the emotions. Um, it'll be some exciting hockey to watch here this year for sure. No, I, I like a fast paced game and um, you know, part of developing here is to help develop for Ottawa, but also to win here, there's gotta be a good balance there. So you have to see what kind of players you do have and, and get a style that suits uh, you as a coaching staff, but also as the players that are playing under you. But I do like a fast game. Um, that's what I've been used to uh, this year in Ottawa. I thought it worked very well. And uh, at the same time, though, you have, to, you have to be physical to play the game of hockey. We will definitely chase um, two or three top free agents. There's no question. Um, we can't talk to them until July 1st, but we, uh, we certainly know the names. We have our pro meeting starting on June 4th. So that list will, will be concrete after that week. And um, we have a good idea who we want to talk to. The last to. few years, if players maybe had a little bit of trouble in their game, um, I would maybe sit down with them and the coaches maybe barked at them a few times and their confidence is low and I would try and talk to them a little bit on a player's level uh, rather than a coach's level and try and bring that same mes message across that they, they understand the message, that they can have a conversation back with me where they're not feeling a little bit uh, insecure to do that with a head coach or even an assistant coach.